Ryan Grantham is a 24-year-old actor that, up until this point, has been best known to the public for minor roles in media properties such as Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Riverdale. Now, however, the actor is slowly becoming even better known to the public for something he did outside of the entertainment industry. In the spring of 2020, Ryan pled guilty to second-degree murder, with the star's own mother being the victim. To make the story even stranger, Ryan went on to claim that he killed his mother to keep her from witnessing what he intended to do next. Join Trender as we take a look at how Ryan Grantham just added a new name to his hit list. Ryan Grantham wanted to go on a killing spree. The COVID-19 pandemic had everyone feeling a little bit crazy in the spring of 2021, but Canadian actor Ryan Grantham was feeling this craziness a little bit more than most. According to psychiatrists, the 24-year-old actor was going through an extreme period of clinical depression. However, no one saw the signs that this clinical depression was going to turn deadly. As Ryan's own sister would put it, she couldn't believe that her brother could ever pose a danger to herself or her family. Whether or not the signs were there is hard to say, but the end result proved devastating. It appears that, in his fit of clinical depression, Ryan began plotting to kill Canada's current Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Before carrying out his plot to kill the Prime Minister, though, Ryan had to eliminate someone else. Though Ryan Grantham didn't end up killing Justin Trudeau, he did end up killing someone before going through with his plot to kill the Prime Minister. Ryan believed that it was his duty to kill his mother as well, so that she didn't have to be alive to bear witness to his evil deed. At least, that's the way that Ryan ended up putting it once he decided to turn himself into the police. After killing his mother, Ryan decided not to go through with his plot to kill the Prime Minister. Instead, he freely offered himself to the authorities. Initially, said authorities wanted to charge the actor with the crime of first-degree murder. However, he ended up taking the plea of confessing to second-degree murder instead. Both the crime and the confession occurred on March 31, 2020, and Ryan has been tied up in the courts ever since. Now that sentencing is underway for the actor, the story is breaking into the news. Ryan Grantham's mother was 64 years old at the time she died by her own son's hand. Her name was Barbara, and she was allegedly playing piano when Ryan did the deed. Ryan claims that he snuck up behind his mother while she was distracted with her playing and then proceeded to put a bullet in the back of her head. While this act can certainly be considered terrifying enough in and of itself, it becomes even more terrifying once you're made aware of the fact that the actor had been planning the crime for a significant period of time and that he was also planning on killing someone else shortly afterwards. Why exactly Ryan was granted his change of heart has yet to be shared. Ryan was charged with second-degree murder. As discussed, authorities initially wanted to charge Ryan Grantham with the crime of first-degree murder. This charge would certainly be understandable, as it seems that the actor had been plotting his mother's murder for some time. The basis for the charge being brought down from first-degree murder to second-degree murder was that Ryan likely wasn't of sound mind when he was plotting his mother's murder, or when he decided to act his plot out. In order to prove that Ryan wasn't of sound mind around the time, psychiatric records were brought into the courts. It was then that it was revealed that the actor had been suffering from some serious clinical depression. Ryan was likely hoping for his charges to be dropped to manslaughter as a result, but that didn't happen. Instead, Ryan still ended up being charged with second-degree murder, which carries a minimum life sentence. Although Ryan ended up being charged with second-degree murder instead of first-degree murder, he certainly put a lot of thought and planning into both the act of killing his mother and the intended act of killing the Canadian Prime Minister. Not only did the actor apparently rehearse the killings, but he also procured a copious amount of supplies in order to carry his plans out. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit the like button to show your support. Also, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be among the first to know when more Awesome Trender videos are on their way. Ryan put a lot of effort into planning his crime. During Ryan Grantham's hearing, numerous things were revealed about the preparations that the actor had made before the event of his mother's murder. It seems that Ryan had been rehearsing the killings, and even documented much of his planning in the form of videos. These videos were then shown to the courts. 
with one of the more disturbing videos depicting the actor confessing to his mother's murder after the fact. In the video, the body of the actor's dead mother can be seen. If all of this evidence wasn't enough to prove that Ryan had put a lot of effort into planning both the crime of killing his mother and the intended crime of killing Justin Trudeau, there's also the fact of the matter that Ryan had an insane amount of weapons. Shortly after killing his mother and making the aforementioned video document in which he confessed to the crime and showed his handiwork, Ryan Grantham proceeded to load up his car with all of the supplies that he had procured to kill the Canadian Prime Minister. The supplies that Ryan had procured included three separate firearms and 12 Molotov cocktails, as well as plenty of ammunition for each of the three guns. There were also some camping supplies that were found in the actor's car, plus a map featuring directions of Ridu Cottage, which is the designated home of the Canadian Prime Minister. The actor also decided not to go through with it. Perhaps the actor was feeling guiltier after killing his mom than he had anticipated and no longer wanted to go through with the final stages of his intricate plan. Regardless of the actor's reasoning for doing so, Ryan ended up turning himself around on his drive to Ridu Cottage. At first, Ryan decided that instead of killing the Prime Minister, he was going to commit a spontaneous crime somewhere on the campus of Simon Fraser University. Ryan had been a student at the school up until a short time before he began plotting the murder of his mother. While Ryan is adamant that he killed his mother to spare her from bearing witness to his intended murder of the Canadian Prime Minister, some have suggested that the actor was actually afraid that his mother was going to find out that he had dropped out of college. It seems that much of Ryan's clinical depression came from his time on campus. Ryan eventually decided to turn himself in. After changing course from Ridu Cottage to San Fraser University, Ryan then eventually decided to change courses once again. This time, he set course for a police station in Vancouver. There, Ryan proceeded to confess to the crime of killing his mother, as well as the intended crime of killing Justin Trudeau. Two years later, the actor has just now undergone sentencing. As established, second-degree murder carries with it a mandatory life sentence, though there's a chance that he may still be eligible for parole down the line. Ryan's acting career foreshadowed his crime. Before becoming known to the world as the Canadian actor who killed his mother, Ryan Grantham was best known to the world for small acting roles that he had performed in media properties such as Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Riverdale. It was Ryan's role on Riverdale that was arguably his most defining moment up until killing his mother. Coincidentally, Ryan's role in the hit series Riverdale saw him playing a character that was responsible for the death of another character's parent. Up until his own death, actor Luke Perry played the character of Archie's dad on the series. After Luke Perry passed away, the actor's death was written into the show. On the show, Archie's dad was said to have been killed by a drunk driver. In the episode where this was revealed, Ryan was cast as the teenage drunk driver. Fans of Riverdale enjoyed Ryan's performance on the series and felt that the show handled the death of Luke Perry in a respectful way. However, Ryan's new notoriety may go on to retroactively spoil most of the current goodwill towards the episode containing the Canadian actor. The Riverdale episode containing Ryan aired in 2019 and it was called Chapter 58 in Memoriam. Ryan's character's name was Justin, and he only appeared in the one episode. Up until this point, that episode of Riverdale has been the last thing that Ryan has appeared in. Now that he's likely going to prison for at least the majority of his remaining life, it seems destined to remain so. Though Ryan Grantham never received much notoriety before committing his heinous crime, the 24-year-old Canadian has been acting since 2007. At that point, Ryan wasn't even 10 years old. It was in 2010 that Ryan appeared in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and other credits that he was featured in include the Imaginarium of Dr. Panasis. Ryan Grantham killed Archie's dad on television and then killed his own mother in real life. But killing the Canadian Prime Minister proved too much for the actor. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Riverdale actor Ryan Grantham is a murderer and that he plotted to assassinate Justin Trudeau? As always, like this video to show your support, and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be among the first to know when more awesome Trender videos are on their way.